Well, there will not only be a lot of ships and sailors at the Inner Harbor for Fleet Week next week, there will also be several military working dogs, too. Now, these dogs are trained to keep you safe. Jessica Albert introduces us to two of the pups who will be working during the festivities. Oh, we'll get him! Man's best friend <laughs> will have an important job oh, during Fleet good. Week. Our military working dogs will be walking the beat alongside our uh, civilians in blue, and uh, we'll be out here to make sure that everybody's having a safe and grand time. Military working dogs Opal and Rugby will be among dozens on hand for Fleet Week. They help provide security for the event. The dogs are used to detect uh, pretty much anything bad that we want them to look for. Drugs, certain drugs, certain explosives, elements of explosives. WJZ <laughs> caught up with their handlers as they were running through training exercises. They only need the faintest hints of an odor to actually find something. Rugby and his handler, Joseph Bender, ran through <laughs> obedience drills. <laughs> And Opal and his handler, Gabriel Gallegos, practice some bite drills, training Opal to attack if anything goes wrong. Get him! Opal, out! This is more than just a job for the handlers. <laughs> I am absolutely a dog lover. These dogs become yes. their best friends. That's the coolest job in the world. And Fleet Week is a chance for them to show off their skills. This is a great opportunity to bring the community and the military in as, as one. So this is one of the best assignments that you can do. And as a reminder, as tempting as it may be, do not touch the dogs. If you see them out at Fleet Week, they are on the job. Reporting in Baltimore, Jessica Albert for WJZ.